Paul with Diode Dynamics here today with a Kia Stinger. Now this thing's got LEDs all around, it's the GT2 model, but the backup lights are still yellowish incandescent bulbs that aren't too bright. We're gonna fix that today with some XPR 921 LED bulb replacements from Diode Dynamics. It's gonna be a great upgrade and it only takes a couple minutes. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna start by popping the hatch and then underneath there's gonna be a pin on either side. Just use a flathead screwdriver or a trim removal tool, this little slot, right in there. It does take a little force. We're just gonna pop that out, all the way around, just clipped in all the way around. With the cover off on either side, there's gonna be these black nuts, two, and then there's one on the inside. We're just gonna remove all three nuts on either side of a 10 millimeter socket. We'll also want to remove the connectors in either side. Just look for the clip on the passenger side, it's right here. Just pull it straight back to unclutch. We'll just repeat that on the other side. Now we're going to pull down the lift gate, and then this whole piece is going to be uh, disconnected, so we just pull it straight back and off. Take this over to a nice soft surface to swap out these bolts. Now on either side, you'll see right away that there's a socket here for that factory backup bolt. But there's foam that it's kind of covering up the wire. I've seen some people recommend that you make a little slit to get some more of this uh, access to the wire to pull it out. What I'm gonna do, uh, my car is still pretty new, um, so I'm just gonna pull up on this foam itself carefully. And uh, it's just held on with adhesive, which you could replace if you need to, but it's still pretty sticky. So I'm going to pull it up and then just put it back in place when I'm done. If your car is a little bit older or you're watching this video in 2025 or uh, in the future, you might want to make that slit because this foam will probably wear out along with this adhesive. I'm just going to stick it back down when I'm done. You can see now I've got plenty of slack here. So I'm going to grab a hold of this uh, socket here, turn it counterclockwise and lift it straight out. From there, I can just pull straight out on the bolt itself. Now I'm gonna take the uh, Diodynamics LED replacement, I'm gonna insert it in that socket. Now, one important thing with this is that we're going to uh, reinstall this heat quickly on the vehicle and plug in uh, the connectors again. If the bolt isn't lighting up for some reason, we're gonna unplug it, rotate it 180 degrees, and put it back in the socket. So that's the uh, number one thing to watch out for. Just want to test it before we go putting all those nuts back in and securing everything again. But then we're just going to angle this. It can be a little tight, but I do have a little slack here. So I'm going to just angle that and you'll see it's designed to fit directly into there. Just going to push it all the way in, turn it clockwise to lock in place. And then I'm going to put that foam back down like I mentioned, sticking it back down with that original adhesive all good to go. We're gonna do the other side and then get it back on the car. We're gonna just set it back in place, make sure everything aligns. There's a couple of pegs in the back here, so you just, you wanna make sure everything aligns and push it into place. Just jump on one side of the other. There we go. Now, again, we're going to lift up the uh, hatch again, plug these in, and then get a front end, make sure that they're lining up before we screw everything back together. Once you're sure everything's connected in the right way and both your lights are turning on, we can go ahead and reinstall those three nuts on either side, and then pop your panels back into place, and you're good to go. With everything installed, we've got a lot more useful light out of the reverse lights on the Stinger. And of course, we've got that cool white modern LED appearance as well. Now, this is gonna also help to provide more light for the backup camera to give us a crisper picture and make things a little brighter. It's a great upgrade all around, and as you can see, it just takes a couple minutes. You can find these bulbs online at diodynamics.com or use a dealer locator to find them at a dealer near you. Thanks for watching.